Tracing your roots and finding your family history. Getting started and knowing where to look can be the most challenging part for many African Americans. This weekend, the Library of Virginia is hosting the African American Genealogy Conference with lectures, workshops, and even panel discussions. Director of Public Services and Outreach for the Library of Virginia, Greg Kimball, and Stuart Scott, Assistant Director of Public Affairs with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, is both are both here today with the details. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. to see you. Good How morning. are you? Good to see you. This is a unique com combination of of resources here. Greg, how did this all get together? Um, you know, I was trying to think about that. <laughs> uh, I know that we had been working on some projects with Family Search, which is part of the LDS Church's uh, mm -hmm. genealogical program and a fantastic website. And we'd never done any partnerships with them. We'd had some great contacts with the African American Historical and Genealogical Society as well. So the three of us teamed up to put on this conference, and, and it's the first collaboration like this that we've had, so we're really looking forward to it. It sounds perfect because, uh, from what I understand, Stuart, the um, church has one of the biggest databases of genealogy anywhere in the, in the world, I guess. That is correct. We have the largest genealogical base of records anywhere in the world, and we are happy to share that with the world and with the community, and we do so in a fee-free basis. You can go on our website, log in and start, start doing your, your search. We've talked before about genealogy here on the show and with you, Greg, and, and finding and tracing African American history is so difficult. Talk a little bit, both of you, about why it's so difficult. Yeah, the real difficulty, of course, is the period of slavery because unfortunately, uh, African Americans simply weren't listed, uh, often either by their first name with no last name or just as statistics, mm -hmm. as unfortunate, as terrible as that, that is. So there's that brick wall of the Civil War, getting past that. And one of the things about this conference and a lot of the work the church has done and that we have done in Family Search is to help people get past that. So for instance, there'll be a session on the Freedmen's Bureau records, uh, which were kept right after the Civil War, and many of those give that kind of information. Stuart, you worked on uh, that project in here in Virginia, didn't you? Yes, I did. I was part of the effort in Virginia to teach, train people how to index as we began to get into the Freeman Bureau records that had been generated after the Civil War during the Reconstruction period, where there were at least four million names of Africans for the first time available. Those records had set in the National Archives for about a hundred years before they fell into our hands, and we decided to, to take on the church and Family Search, of course, decided to take on a project to index and make those names available. And they are now an official part of the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture. And thus it becomes a public resource, which exactly is fabulous. Right. So talk a little bit about how the conference is going to work. What can people do and learn there? Sure. Um, the wide range of things. Um, we have two public events that are completely open without registration on Friday. We have a really great speaker who's going to talk about um, really the, the idea of things that go down intergenerationally uh, through families, not just the family history, but also trauma. And of course, that is part of the story that we're telling here. Um, we have an evening program where we'll be talking about new methods of getting at African American sources. Crowdsourcing, where people come in and transcribe documents online from their homes. Really exciting things. And then there's a whole range of, of uh, sessions on Saturday, everything from DNA to using some of the records that we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. And uh, how important is this for a family to be able to trace its, its history? You know, the interesting you asked that question. I always think in terms of coming up as a kid, we were always pointed to heroes. You know, we can name our heroes, Martin Luther King, that term. We can go on and on. Why not find the heroes in our own family? And I think it's important. One of my personal most recent discoveries, I found a third great uncle who was in the 25th entry, which is known as the Buffalo Soldiers, mm -hmm. and he even served at Fort Custer. So I found that to be exciting. I shared that with my family, and everybody's you know, excitement level, you know, increase just to know that history. It's a, now you got your own heroes. And that's a wonderful thing. And, and sometimes we find the villains in our family, too. Uh, yeah, that's there, too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think have, that's a very good point, actually. We, we don't all have heroes in our families. It's great to find them, and there will be those as well. But, yeah, um, 
in a way we can't control who our ancestors were, but we can understand them mm -hmm. and understand the context of the history that they were part of. Right. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a wonderful event, gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining Thank us today. Thanks for having us. You're very welcome. The Library of Virginia is hosting the African American Genealogy Conference this Friday and Saturday. We'll put a direct link to the complete schedule on our show website, wtbr.com slash VTM. You can go there by early this afternoon to find that. Thanks to Greg Kimball and Stuart Scott.